Ooh, it's hot. A sweatshirt was a bad idea. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another monthly favorites. This time we are doing the April favorites because we are just moving right along through 2021 and I don't mind because I got exciting things coming up for summer 2021. So I'm fine with time moving fast right now. But if you're new to my channel, I just want to take a moment to welcome you. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me, don't forget to please subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of every time I have a new video. And for everyone watching, it would mean so much to me if you would take a second and hit the thumbs up button right down below here and also leave me a comment. Let me know what some of your favorites in April were and let's just dig right into it. I had said in the last favorites, I'm trying to make these a little bit quicker, a little bit snappier. I'm only picking things that are like truly my favorite not trying to pad out the list anymore and stuff so we're just gonna move right into stuff let's start with lifestyle because I just have like a couple of things in here okay so the first thing comes from Trader Joe's because I am a Trader Joe's fiend and it is their new sweet and deliciously fruity gummy candies this one I think it's like a spring or summer edition and every single flavor in here is fire it's so good this one has pineapple mango grapefruit watermelon and blueberry and usually when it comes to gummies for me they always have like citrus in them lemon or orange and I just like I never eat those I just I'm not a big fan so I love that this one is just like full of flavors that are yummy and unique and something different then this next one is great if you have a pup especially if you are working from home and you need a way to distract them I got Spart this new puppy puzzle it's like a little treat puzzle so basically he has to pop off the caps on here and unveil some treats and then it allows these to slide and he has to search for treats in these and he loves this thing he's actually a lot smarter than we thought he was because he got through this really really fast and now we need to go get him another puzzle so we can kind of switch up the puzzles just kind of keep his mind moving and stuff but if you have a puppy that is restless or one that has anxiety the reason why we got him this is because a lot of the trainers that we've been talking to have been said that these are really good for dogs with anxiety because it keeps their mind active and also helps boost their confidence because they get happy when they search for the treat this is definitely a really good tool to give them then we've got some beauty stuff starting off with a perfume. This one is from Dossier and this is their floral jasmine one. And I worked with Dossier, I think it was a couple months ago, but I didn't really start using this daily until last month. And basically they create affordable scents that are essentially dupes for designer brands. For a wedding day a few years ago, I wanted to wear the Tom Ford Jasmine perfume and it was so expensive, I couldn't afford the bottle. So I just got a sample and that's what I wore on our wedding day. And now it's nice to have that scent in a full size bottle and it smells exactly the same. It is a perfect dupe. So if you guys like designer perfumes, but you don't wanna spend the money on them because personally perfumes for me isn't something that I feel the need to spend a ton of money on definitely check them out they have a ton of dupes and I do have a discount code with them this isn't sponsored they didn't ask me to mention them in this video this is just me truly sharing them because I really really do love this perfume but the discount code will be in the description if you guys want to check them out then next is a product from Pixie that I got in PR and it is their on the glow blush this stuff is so good first off I really love the concept of this stick blush honestly it kind of reminds me of like deodorant packaging but I'm not mad at it but you just wind it up and the blush comes out right here and the colors on this are so pretty they sent me three different colors this one is ruby but there's also floor which is a pink and then juicy which is kind of like an orangey color and all of them are so so beautiful this one has just been my go-to because this is the only one that i brought upstairs the pr package is still downstairs but i really really want to try juicy because i love orange tones in the summertime if you guys haven't noticed from my makeup but the formula on this like i said it's so good it's pigmented but it feels sheer on the skin like nice and lightweight and it gives such a pretty glow with that color so if you are looking for a new summer blush highly recommend this one because it's just so gorgeous and if you're traveling this summer this would be a really good one to bring for travel then my last beauty favorite is one that I'm sure you guys saw coming if you saw my latest review. It is the Winky Luxe White Tea Tinted Veil. This is a tinted moisturizer with SPF 30 in it, which is perfect for summertime because you want to protect your face. But this formula had me shook, you guys. I mean, everyone who watched that review knows this is like my new favorite thing ever. The coverage on this is so 
so beautiful it looks like your skin but better it's like literally undetectable like you could just wear this and no other makeup and it looks so natural it's perfect for the summertime if you are a dry girl you are gonna go insane over this because it gives you such a beautiful glow and if you're oily the glow isn't so bad that it's not something that we can't work with I just did a light layer of powder and a mattifying primer underneath and it was perfect throughout the day I didn't have to keep repowdering it like I did in the original review so guys run don't walk Highly, highly, highly recommend getting this, even though it is $30 at a drugstore, which is a lot for a drugstore, but freaking worth every penny. I actually already went and purchased the medium deep as well because I know I'm gonna get much tanner during the summertime and I just don't ever wanna be without this because this is literally gonna be my go-to all summer long. Then moving on to fashion, the first item is thrifted, so I'm so sorry that I cannot link it for you. If I can find anything that's similar to this, I will, but I highly doubt it because it is pretty unique even though it is from Zara, but I don't know how far back this came out. But I thrifted this jacket earlier in the month. Actually, I think it was the end of April, but I didn't really start wearing it till May and I just realized I've been referring to this video as my April favorites, haven't I? It's May. My May favorites, my bad. Anyways, I am obsessed with this jacket. I love the pattern on it. It's so unique. It's almost like a damask pattern, but also like snake print. I don't know. It's just, it's super cool, but it's still neutral color, so it still can go with a lot. So that's a really great way to work patterns into your outfits is to keep it in more of a neutral tone because then it can go with more and it's a little bit more wearable and easy to style. But this jacket is just perfect. It's like a moto style jacket and I like the fact that it's lightweight. So this is definitely gonna be like a go-to summer jacket for me because it's the perfect weight for those summer nights. And I literally get compliments on this jacket everywhere I go, anytime I've worn it. Inevitably, someone compliments me on this jacket because again, it's so unique. But if you guys are wondering where I thrifted it from in case you missed that vlog I actually thrifted it in LA from a store called it's a wrap and that place is so cool basically all the pieces in there were used in movies and TV shows so you can thrift outfits that have actually been on television or on the big screen which I think is really cool and a unique story to your thrifted piece I don't know what show this was on they do put a show code on the tag but the list of show codes that they had in the front of the store when we went I think was kind of old and this piece's show code wasn't on it yet so that was a little bit of a bummer that I don't know what show this was on but still pretty cool to know that it was used for a Hollywood production. Then next I have another jacket. We're just getting into summer jackets here. I am in love with this one from Princess Polly. This one was all over the place in like spring and late winter in the brown color, but I got it in the cream for spring and summer. And this color is perfect for the season. It's a faux leather jacket and it fits oversized and boxy, which I personally love. I got mine in the medium and I feel like I could have even done the small, but still I do like the medium. And I'm sure you guys have seen so, so many bloggers posting this, styling this. It's just like such a good go-to jacket. Jacket. And unfortunately, I don't have a code for Princess Polly, but my friend Michelle does. I will have her code down below. Hopefully it's still active in case you want to get this and want to get a little bit of a discount on it. And in case you are searching for this on Princess Polly, this is their Staten Island jacket. Then the last favorite is one that I've been talking about constantly, so we'll do this one quickly. On the same day that I got the thrifted jacket, I also got myself a new bag and it is my Louis Vuitton Petite Noé. I got myself a new designer bag. I had to do it for spring and summer because the YSL is just, you know, it's too dark for spring and summer. We needed something lighter, something brighter, and a little bit more fun and carefree. And I'm obsessed with this bag after using it for a month. I just, I love it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. But if you guys want more info on it, I will link the unboxing over here. And then also coming up very soon on my channel, I'll also be posting a what's in my bag of everything that I keep inside of my patina way. So make sure that you are subscribed and keep an eye out for that video. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it for this monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I love you. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye.